Matthew says 500. If you want to buy clothes, to the Lord, you go and buy clothes. My money can pay. If it is one, I'm going to do it. I am not there for somebody. I am not the problem in the future. But when you're buying credit, before the month will go, you go tell us you buy. You think when you come to church and work credit, people will look at you. Credit. <laughs> You are known from the book of prosperity. Credit is the easiest way to edit your name in the book of what? Prosperity. Stop it. Go and close the elders. Somebody will call you, come and take credit. They call me, I take one of them. Anytime you call this phone again, I will curse you. Stop calling for credit. Do you think I'm bad? Go say, oh no, God, anything. Every time you call my phone, I said, can we give you credit? I said, shut up. If you call me again, I will curse you. I up my phone. Don't call me. You don't know why somebody are earning. Plan yourself. The same way you are earning and you cannot account for it. Stop credit you plant yourself. Plan the one that will go for tight offering, the one that will go for your one clothes this month, the one that will go for my service, and you will see how you're going to be. Don't make your plan on credit. Credit edits your name for the book of what? Prosperity. And I've told you, you don't live a life to show off. Anywhere you are, cherish it. Where you are does not stop where you're going to. Don't compete. Competition will end you in a pit. Say here. What did I say? Competition will land you in a pit. Very big one. Very big one. Don't compete. Life is 10 by 10. So you must do what? Invest. The second law of prosperity is what? Investment. For whatever you are getting, learn to serve. And for serving, learn to invest. Make sense here? Yes, sir. I've told you my story many, many times. When I started my business last three or four years, I started with 2,000 euro. 2,000 euro. I went to Europe to preach. After preaching, I met a brother from there. Somebody told him to, to me. We started after preaching, the two days I have to rest. We enter to villages, go and look for for things to buy to bring. From there, I started from Germany, from Frankfurt. Two times we bought few things, brought them. The next one, Belgium. If I finish, we we'll go. Before that, two thousand, two thousand. That two thousand pound. I mean euro. Three years ago, I have over one, two, three, four, five trailers that in my sh my one of my stock my shop. I have uh, uh, other, but even plus. Peugeot, three or seven, brand new ones. Because some of them, some army officers, they build them brand new ones, they exchange with my, my trucks. So I pack them for sale. I pack, I pack three, two thousand euros. I serve, sir, ask my wife, if I save this money, you are dying. Say bye bye. Because <laughs> if it's a project, it's a, she knows. It's a project. In fact, you won't even see it. If you bring police of the night house, you can't get it. So there's no need for you to think about it. If it's for project, it's a project. And before you know it's AXA. I started from there, started, from there, started. If you go to my, my cast lot now, you see trailers, trucks, park. So when I'm preaching, I preach with confidence. I'm not asking you to give me your money to give. When I sell one trailer, five million, if I sell two, ten million, I will take it and slap your face. So you must see that one. <laughs> It's not pretty and look at people's face. Sir, so they can't give you tight and offering, not the harbinger. Hello? Because of what? Invest. I didn't get one billion. I got two thousand euro. Many of you here get even hundred thousand euro in a year. But yet you finish it. Become big boy. When they see you, you do you you you, you push your back like tortoise. This year, if I catch you this year, that back will enter inside by force. Pay your neighbor, invest. So God said to him, invest it. Because it takes investment to keep it in. Is that not true? If I do it and eat it, I can't keep it. 
But when I let dip it and invest and reinvest, I keep it and I still enjoy it. Is that true? Yes, so the second law of property is what? Investment. Say and never invest. invest. Say and never invest. invest. Number three. Second Thessalonians 3 verse 10. Second Thessalonians 3 verse 10. 3 verse 10. Are you there? Yes. The number the four, the third law of property is what? Work hard. For even when we were with you, this we commanded you that if any would not work, neither should we eat. There is no need for a Christian to be idle. It's a sin, it's a crime in this kingdom against the Lord of God to be idle. In the beginning, God made them male and female. It is a mesh work. Everybody should allow your life to profit you. Don't be idle. Idleness is every devil's work. They ask you, what are you? Where are you? He said, I moved here and there. If you're not working, you're moving to and fro. You are devil. You are still work. Do something. If any man didn't work. Let him not eat. He said, Adam, I gave you all these things, but do what? Pay them. Work on the garden. Every morning, come out, eat them, invest, preserve them, put them in order to produce more harvests. Work. Don't be idle. Proverbs 14 to the prayer. Proverbs 14 to the prayer. Please, fast. The time is running. Proverbs 14 to the prayer. In all labor, there is what? Profit. By the talk of the lips, tended only to poverty or penury. Penury is a single word to poverty. <laughs> Hello? In all labor, there is what? Profit. Your life is not profitable until you engage in work. I value you based on your what? Working commitment. That's how I value you. I know that you are serious. Get something doing. Because your life is to make profit. You are in the image of God to make profit. In every labor there is what? Profit. If a man does not work, let him not eat. So if you are eating without working, you are a thief. <laughs> are you with me? Yes. Yeah. You must work. Do something. Can I tell you something? Yes. Do you know why most of you here, in every gossip in backlash, you are involved because you are idle? Every gossip in backlash, everything that happens, if I'm busy in my office, okay, this, is, this morning now, I arrived here, I, I got assignment. I'm reading my assignment. I'm preparing message. I'm having course on Nigerian churches. They, they're having some issues here. They want to sort, sort, sort out. I've only finished my assignment. As I enter the church now, I continue the assignment. When will I see that building talk about somebody? Uh, did you hear? <laughs> how, how many times have you even seen me on, on, on the internet, on Facebook? When do I have the time? The few time I have, I want to rest. The next one, I'm busy. I'm in school. I've had two diplomas. I've had my degree in theology with faculty, faculty university in America. I'm still back to school studying public administration in South Africa. I want to be busy. I'm engaged doing something to profit my life and my future. But you sit down in the house doing nothing. Every gossip, every problem, everything you are involved. Because every idle man is a man. Is that what? what? Not the devil's workshop, the devil's bedroom. The devil's bedroom. your life profit at least yourself in every level there is what profit you don't work because you lack money no at times your work can produce somebody in the office can meet people that may need your help tomorrow everybody you are in need and all men here listen to me let your work go and do something 
God did not make anybody has wife. He said in the beginning, God made us in our image, and God said, multiply, be fruitful, increase. So if you're not multiplying and be fruitful, you are against the law of prosperity. Everybody, go out, do something. It will, talk, it will stop gossip. It will stop problem. It will stop the do you hear or do you not hear. It will stop those things. If you, if you have a problem in the office, you will have to make a research. You come back home. When will someone come and talk to you so and say, you are busy with it. There's something doing. It will help you to move forward. And when you are there doing that thing, you come to meet people. Not only are going to meet, you may be what? Destiny helpers. Before you know it, life has changed. Tell your neighbor do something. Isaiah 48, 17. Isaiah 48, 17. If you are married, look at what you're in business. If you cannot do what you're doing, make sure you start doing something. Can I ask you a question? Yes, sir. Now, what about, okay, most of you are said, oh, 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 men, what happens tomorrow if you are going on the road? We're not praying for death, but death will come. I say, your husband just died. Now, ask me a question. What will you do? You can't pass this have not learned. You begin to sell stove. And so, yeah, you sell the stove to eat. When you sell stove to eat, you will sell spoon. When you sell spoon, after a while you sell all things. That's something you doing. When you learn how to do something, it will be difficult for you. There is no way you can solve problem except there is commitment. If if I go to office, you go to office. When we come back at home, we are fresh. Honey, honey can start again. That's why I miss you. It's not true. With you in the morning, when one day I get angry, anything you do, I'm annoyed. I'm not in spirit. No, no, talk to me. Is it not true? Yeah, because you cannot miss somebody you are with. I'm here with you, I'm not missing you. But when you go out or I go out, after like five hours, I'm not seeing you, I begin to have the feeling to see. Is it not true? Even it helps to move marriage forward. I hear. Say I hear. I hear. Let's end here because our time is coming. I, Isaiah 48 17. We're going to end with John 5 17. Isaiah 48 17. Isaiah 48 17. Thus says the Lord, the Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Now follow me. Thus says the Habinger. Thus says the Lord, the Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. I am the Lord thy God, which teacheth thee to profit. Which leadeth thee by the way that thou should go. So God expects us to do what? To profit. Make profit out of your life. If you do, if you have PhD, do a work of those with uh, a matric. Go back to school. Start from somewhere. Engage in business. But make sure that you are making profit. God teaches us our hand to profit. Men, don't keep a woman in the house and say, it's a white wife. Mother, don't take it. Report the person to me. Don't take it. You're not a housewife. God made them male and female. And say, all of you, go and prosper. I'm blessing of us, April. Yeah, if you're making 10 million, I'm making 10 million. I can use my 3,000 to buy my clothes. But at least it's just a source of responsibility. And frankly speaking, when even the, yeah, yeah, they, they know, even your have, you have, you have in-laws family, when they know you're busy doing something, they still respect you. They respect you. In Nigeria, call them busy baby. You just want to say, ah, that's your wife, that busy baby. Because they feel like she's idle. It's not contributing anything to your life. When my mother came here, my mother saw my wife, busy, preaching. She's doing the same thing I'm doing. We pray in the morning. We engage our books. If I'm counseling, she's counseling. If I'm not here, she's preaching. She's doing, and she's even going back to school. Say, so honey, you must go back to school. For more things you want to do in ministry, you go back. So my mother came. Mother, we didn't...